Hello, so I'm just going to do a tutorial on how to make an origami envelope. I've started off with a piece of paper which unfortunately the screen doesn't cover edge to edge but it's just smaller than A4 and I'm just going to show you the first skill you need to do to make it a square because this isn't quite square. So you fold one end, one corner, diagonally off across, across to the next corner and where it's folding you want to get that perfectly on the corner so that these two lines this one and this one that one are parallel and on top of each other so folding that down with the corner perfectly a perfect triangle there and then I crease this all the way along when I fold over to the other side I see the excess so I need to get rid of that excess strip of paper because that's what's making it rectangle instead of square so what you can do is make a little crease or a little scratch in here so you can see there now I open up the paper and I fold from that crease that I noticed, I fold it parallel to the same edge and I crease it along like that. We're going to get rid of this strip by constantly moving it back and forth. So now you fold it the other direction, now you fold it the other direction and keep running over it with your thumb and finger to weaken those fibres that are keeping it connected. I like to use the two nails on my thumb and my pointer finger. Yeah, so now I unfold it and you'll see we've got two fold marks. One showing the diagonal across the square and one showing the strip of paper we need to remove. This can be done with an A4 piece of paper or any rectangular piece of paper to downsize it to a square. So I'm going to now hope that I've done enough back and forths with this for me to be able to tear it apart. So I gently put my finger against the crease on the left, on the left side of the crease, right up close to it, and I pull very delicately to rip that first little bit along the, the line that we've created. Now I gently pull like that keeping a bit of pressure on the left hand side so I don't rip it in case and it should pull all the way there we go, got rid of it so now we have a square maybe not perfect but close enough so now our first step to making the envelope is using that diagonal line to fold a triangle where the top two corners are in line with each other these corners are perfectly folded in corners without overlapping too much or too little. Now we want to bring these two corners in, this one and this one. It's so hard to fit you all on the screen. There we go. So bring that corner and that corner to meet like so and gently just do a squeeze at that corner there that's been formed. Just squeeze it. You don't need to do anything else. We're just marking the center point between the two corners. And using that center point, we fold down the top leaf and get it on top of the crease that we just folded. So it will find the middle of the sheet of paper, like so. So it's just in line with the base, it's not overlapping, you can see. It's not overlapping, it's just bang smack in the middle where that crease was. Sweet. So the next trick is a little bit of a guessing game, it takes practice. You've got to fold this side and this side towards each other and divide it into three equal lengths. So you'll have one going across here roughly there 
and one going over the top to roughly there and you want where this folds where this bit folds you want the very end of this piece and likewise where this bit comes in here if you're doing it that way you want the crease to be there so that's not explained very well basically it needs to be divided into thirds one two and three there so I'm just going to have a bit of a play around and you'll have to play around a little bit too to find what how to divide it with thirds you can use a ruler if you really want um, but I tend to just juggle around and find a point that all three sit closely together so just going like that does that work so that's overlapping a little bit too much there you see so I got to bring that a little bit further now I'll try now it's not overlapping enough so I'll bring it back a little bit there we go so I'm going to crease the bottom one up make sure it's in line with the bottom there is in line so it's not hanging over the bottom it's just in line with the bottom fold that bit there and then put my finger on the tip of the corner I've just folded towards the other half and fold over that and make sure this corner comes perfectly into that corner there now you can see the envelope shape has formed have can't you finishing touches bring the top flap it doesn't matter if you've done that way or you've done that way I don't even know which way I do so you just fold that halfway so the bottom corner now touches the bottom corner there again crease that line vertically and now let that flip back up open it up and ta -da, fold that there into a diamond on top final touch bring that top flap down in line with the center of that diamond you just formed in line with there fold and there we have it now you can put this in here and you've got an envelope you can use sealing wax on this little part sometimes I like to glue put a little bit of glue just here so it sticks properly but it depends on how far it's traveling and how long it's going to be in the envelope for and who's going to be touching it so it's up to you but this is the, the foundation so you can go anywhere from this thanks for watching I really hope it helped see you around